Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Dan Tilkin. Oregon is fighting the largest wildfire in the country. And it's on the verge of becoming the third largest in the state in more than 100 years. 67 houses gone. Thousands of people out of their homes. And thousands of more homes are threatened. Governor Kate Brown had a news conference earlier today to warn us about the situation, saying it'll likely get even worse. Our Lisa Balick was there with state fire leaders. She joins us live now from downtown Portland. Lisa? That bootleg fire is now larger than the entire city of Los Angeles, and it is expected to grow by tens of thousands of acres in the next few weeks. And again, this thing just started. So far, it has burned almost 400,000 acres in just a couple of weeks, only 30% contained, and expected to grow another 50 to 100,000 acres, and it could be not until fall before it is put out. Now, right now, Oregon has 5,000 firefighters on this and eight other fires across the the state. I asked the governor today if the state needs to do better forest management in the off season, meaning thinning forests to prevent some of these massive burns. I've been very, very clear. Uh, we are working hard to increase our level of thinning and prescriptive burning uh, so that we can create healthier landscapes. But the state forestry chief of fire protection acknowledges more does need to be done. Now, even though the major fires are not near the Portland metro area right now, warnings today from the governor to get ready just in case, packing up important documents and medications, having a plan for a place to go if you do need to suddenly evacuate, like during the fires in Clackamas County last summer. Also sign up at oralert.gov to give you text warnings if there's evacuations in your area. There's also another concern about fire. COVID cases perhaps climbing in the areas where we are seeing the wildfires. I'll have more on that today, coming up today at 5. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.